Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson, that's Nathan Fox. Together we're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We have an email here from Anonymous. It says, what are some tips on how to remain focused on super philosophical slash abstract arguments? When I read a passage, I read the sentences carefully, but sometimes, like with this argument, this was a, came in from an ask button question, I think. Mm. Uh, I read the sentences carefully, but sometimes I get incredibly confused by what the arguer is trying to say, and I have to reread the passage several times before I can even recognize the conclusion. I feel like I end up taking so much time. That's it. That's the entire email. Thank you for your brevity. Yeah, I don't like the fact that you're rereading the passage. I think you need to catch your misunderstanding or your confusion after the first sentence or sometimes even after halfway through the first sentence. I think what happens is people get confused by that first sentence and that they they hope that the later sentences will enlighten them or that things will get easier. And it's like, no, no, no. Dig into the problem as soon as the problem starts. Reread sentences, not passages. Yep. That applies to reading comprehension and logical reasoning, both. I never, I mean, I was going to say I never reread. That's not true. I, I reread sometimes, mm-hmm. but I reread sentences all the time. All the time. All and because time. I do that, it really does help me to recognize how the argument is proceeding while I'm reading it. People think like, because people ask a, a, a related question, you know, how do I slow down? That's a question we get all the time. And how do I learn to object to the arguments? And people tend to think that the objection happens after they read it, after they read it. Yeah. yeah. Like they, they think they need to read it, then think about it. Or, or in, and in this case, they think that they don't understand the passage. But the reality is, is they don't understand a sentence, probably one that happened earlier in the passage. Yeah. And once you unlock that sentence, oh my God, now it makes sense. And so the other sentences and what they're saying in response to that sentence follows. But because you're confused there, you're confused everywhere else. And so then you blame your confusion on the passage as a whole. Yep, absolutely. It's clear that that's what's happening here. And it's going to happen on reading comp too. You know, you're going to read that long first sentence that's commonly in reading comp. Some of the hard people will have a real hard time with the passage and it's like, well, let's look at that first sentence. And the first sentence will be six lines and it'll be, you know, four commas and it'll be all convoluted. And it's like, well, you, you read that nothing went in, you didn't understand it. Then you just, your eyes glazed over. You didn't understand the whole passage, but you read the whole thing anyway, even though nothing was going in. And yeah, then you're in the case, you're, you're in a situation where you're having to reread the entire damn thing because you got nothing. Well, the problem started because you didn't get anything out of that first sentence. So that's the difference between the way we would do it and the way you're doing it. We, we would stop after that first sentence or halfway through that first sentence and just make sure that we're really getting it. And, and look, this person is specifically talking about philosophical forward slash abstract arguments. There are abstract sentences that we have to reread, that we have to sit and think about for a half second before we understand them. And it may take you more time right now. That's part of becoming a better reader. But do the work now. Put in the reps so that they get faster over time. Get used to it because law school is super philosophical and super abstract. Mm -hmm. Legal opinions are super philosophical and super abstract. So you're going to have to get used to thinking in that kind of generalized sort of a way. But you you don't have to read the whole passage all at once. You you just have to read one sentence at once. And uh, yeah, that's that's your problem is that you're losing the little battles and then each each one of those little battles uh, is causing you to lose the entire war. Yeah. And you're not making progress. I, I was just thinking about like working out when I get my form just right. I could I have to drop the weight often quite a bit because the right. act, the right form. But then at the same time, progress starts to happen. I'd rather you <laughs> step it back and do this right and then start to move the actual ball forward than just 
doing like the, like you talk about all the time that that pull the lottery, right? It's like, oh, let me just do another one of these abstract arguments. It's like, no, do it right. Even if it takes you a long time so that you can do the next one right and probably a little faster and eventually you'll really get it. And that's where the clicks will come. Yep. Cool. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening. Thank <laughs> you.